You're watching a Love Jack video, where I show you how to create, share, and connect through art. This is Make Art to Mail, with just a few supplies and some time to sit and connect. I will show you how to create a handmade card that is sure to put a smile on someone's face. We believe art has the power to make you happy. So let's make some today and mail some happiness to a friend. This month's creative challenge is lettering. And if you've been following along, you know it was inspired by the Write On campaign. We hope these videos also encourage you to write a letter every day this entire month. And if you haven't started yet, don't worry, it's never too late to write your friend a card. I will link all the details below to the Write On campaign so you can find out more information about it. And if you feel like binge watching all the videos I made in 2016, I'll link that below too. This week's phrase is sending you blank. I love this phrase. I think this is why I love snail mail. The idea of being able to send your friends some encouragement, some strength, some kind of emotion or intention or feeling. It's just an awesome action that you can do. I know personally in my life there have been times that I've received a handwritten letter from a friend who truly cares and it has made the world of a difference. And I love that I have the ability to do the same thing for my friends. And you can too. For this card, you'll need cardstock, an envelope, alphabet stickers, more alphabet stickers, finger paint, wipes, and a thin black Sharpie. So ultimately this card is going to say, sending you, and then whatever word you wanna put here, you'll put here. I'm gonna use the word peace. We are going to use these awesome stickers that are really made for labeling your mailbox. I think I got them at Home Depot. If you watched my planner video where I went through all my stickers, you know that I have a slight problem. I did refuse to get rid of these, but because of that, I'm gonna use them to make this card. If you have extra alpha stickers that are half used, here's a great way to use them, even if you don't have all the letters. I'll show you. My main word is peace, and I'm gonna start with that. Sending you peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. I'm gonna start with the A, and if you notice, all three A's are used from this sheet and from this sheet. So, I'm gonna improvise and use the V upside down. I'm gonna put that right in the middle since it's the middle letter of the word. Then I'm gonna take a little line from something else. What should I use? I think maybe this might be long enough, let's see. And then here we go again. I don't have a C here and I don't have a C here. So I'm gonna use an O and cut it. Why does that P look smaller? I'm gonna move the P a little bit. Now here's the fun part. Piece is ultimately going to be white, and we're gonna cover the rest of the card with finger paint. You could use any color of finger paint you want. I chose to use blue, purple, and yellow. I do this technique a lot in my art class where we'll just put one big letter on there and let the kids go crazy, but it's really fun to do as an adult as well, and really, when's the last time you finger painted? My tip is just to use a different finger for each color. The fun part about this is you could really do anything. You could do stripes, you could do circles, you could do squiggles, you could do dots, and that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of just making small circles by dabbing my finger. I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of a jellyfish. Or even that really beautiful glass that's on the hotel in Las Vegas. My main goal was for it just to feel peaceful. So there you go, that's the card. Now, for the envelope, I'm going to just take the initials of the person I'm sending it to. I'm gonna wipe my fingers off real quick. Now, if you had a full sheet of stickers, this would be even easier, but I also feel like it's important to use up your stickers and not just end up with these unusable half sheets. So, this is another half sheet I have, and there's two Ks in this, so I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna do a K for her first name, a K for her last name, the most important thing when you're doing this is to make sure all the edges around your letter are covered. So if you look here, maybe I should go back with this P and make sure. Because once you take the stickers off, you need to be able to see where it came up from. And if it's not all painted, then it will kind of bleed over and it will look like a big white bump on the edge. This is a really fun way to experiment with different color combinations. 
As I do this, I think, oh, it would be fun to have a green in here or maybe even a pink. So now you wanna let it dry for a little bit, but then before it's completely dry, we're gonna peel off the letters. This is helpful if you have nails. If you don't have nails, you could always use a tweezer. Can you see that? It's gonna look so good. So here are my tips when pulling them off. You wanna make sure you start pulling them off before the paint is completely dry. Once it's completely dry, it's a lot harder to pull them off. Second is if when you start pulling them up, it seems like it's pulling up some of the paper as well, like the cardstock, just stop and then start from a different direction. That will allow you to stop ripping up the paper and hopefully the other corner, it won't do that and then it could just fix it out. You could see here on my A, can you see? It kind of started a little bit there, but I just stopped and then started from the other corner and then we were fine. Ooh, that was good, right? Okay, now we're gonna let it completely dry and then I'm gonna add the other stickers that say sending you. But even if you want to leave it like this, I think it would look pretty good. Peace. Now the K's. Ooh, looks good, right? All right, so I will let this dry now and be back in a jiffy. All right, once your paint is dry, we're gonna add the words sending you above the word peace, just using these awesome clear stickers. Again, these are by Create365, the Happy Planner, which is also me and my big ideas and sometimes are also labeled Mambi because ultimately the main company is me and my big ideas. These were specifically made for the Happy Planner and this whole book has all different fonts in it. I knew I wanted black, so I'm gonna choose one of these fonts. Mm, and I think I'm gonna use this one because it's a little bit bolder and I think you could see it better. I do this often when I'm scrapbooking. I write down the word, the phrase I'm using and then figure out how to space it out. So because this is a space here, I know I want the N to be in the middle. That way there's one, two, three, four, five letters on this side and five letters on this side. Okay, so I'm starting with the N and then work my way out. Now leave a space. And Y O U. There you go, sending you peace. Now for the card, I could do the same thing. Let me just make sure I have enough letters. Okay, I think I do. So I'm gonna try to squeeze it in. If you didn't wanna use stickers for this, you could also just write it in with that Sharpie. Fun, and I love that and it's matching. You know me, and I will also go back and do the back side of this envelope later. My other tip too, real quick, is just because you did use finger paint on it and the paper will kind of curl up, I will also put it under a big fat book for a little while just to make it flatten out. I think she's gonna love getting this in the mail. Looks pretty, right? For this stamp, I found these awesome Bioluminescent Life stamps last time I was at the post office. So I'm gonna use that because I think it kind of matches. Like I said before, I thought this kind of looked like a jellyfish. Super fun. I love picking up the stamp because it's an extra way for you to express your creativity and add some fun. Ooh. This video is dedicated to my dear friend, Katie Kapoor. I feel like I say this all the time, but those mom friends I made just after Georgia was born and I became a mom will always have a place in my heart. There is just something about that bond you make that is just like nothing else. Anytime a mom-to-be asks me for my advice, I always say, find those mom friends. There's really no one else who can truly relate to you than another mom who is also sleep deprived and has baby spit up on them. I can vividly remember the day I met Katie. We were strolling our babies home from music class and we said hi to each other. Quickly, we realized we were neighbors and I was so happy. In life, I feel like you only find a handful of people that really get you. Lucky for me, Katie is one of those people. Katie, know that I am always sending you love and thank you for being a strong, badass woman and friend. And thank you for watching. I hope you also have a handful of people in your life that get you. Use this week to send them some encouragement, some happiness, some love their way in the form of snail mail. And thank you for creating along with us this year. Have a wonderful week and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.